And this is it. NIP versus Team Liquid. Game number two out of two in this best of two series. And us two, I'm going to cast it. Us two back to... Who is your MVP? Tell me of this tournament so far. Of because you so are my far, MVP. Mike. Oh, thank you, Liz. Well, you're my MVP as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're just saying that because I said you were mine. Don't, aren't you? I you're not my MVP. You're, you're a good friend. There you go. Um, out of all the players that I've seen playing... I mean, I want to say Cube just because he's led his team to so many upsets. But I feel that's kind of disingenuous like a lot of the other really fantastic players who are just playing at the level. Mm -hmm. Such a high level. But um, this is Liquid, like, training in to NIP. But NIP are meeting their aggression with four of their own heroes. Yeah, <laughs> They've like actually it's... sent Liquid running back. Mm -hmm. It's five on four, and it's the five oh, yeah. to trump back. Gunner it's... Daddy's just like, come at me, kids. You What's up? You wasted way too many attacks there, and... A Legion Commander just shreds them apart. What is going on here? Koifer and Gunner getting together early at the start of this game. And the roll's going to come and it will connect. The right click's coming out onto Gunner. Universe is behind him. But now Gunner can lay a bit of damage onto Tiger as well. Man, what is happening right now? I do not know. What did they do on this pause, like, between games? Like, all right. A lot of trash talk. Yeah, PPD just zones them out on that top lane. Yeah. Beaver will be playing that position for uh, Sky Red Mage. Taiga tries to roll in, Ooh. tries to take that bounty rune, doesn't manage to do so. He does have another roll to work with in seven seconds. And, you know, if you're Legion Commander, you're like, all right, I'm letting you go. Beaver as well. He could have used a couple of spells here. Like, he could start spamming Taiga, but he opts not to. Maybe he'll even just go back to the lane. You don't really want to waste way too much of your time this early on. Oh, look at Taiga, actually, with that ward. Wards up the cliff so that he can juke even more. And, all right. Beaver is... Oh, oh. <laughs> this is so stupid, I swear. What are they doing, this man? This is just... <laughs> I mean, is, is this Tiger finding a lot of value? Because obviously the Skywrath is usually an absolute terror at level one. Exactly. And he's just making him do nothing. You just answered your own question. I believe that uh, Tiger definitely finds value there as he breaks the TP too. And it's Beaver that wants to go back to the bottom lane and he has to run there now as his TP has been interrupted. Obvious value. And uh, meanwhile, Taiga playing with the PPD, but PPD doesn't really care. He can yeah. like, you can hit me in my ogre butt because I have eight armor and I'm fine. Boxy, however, yeah. he's not fine. Feeling the girth of Biver right now, but allows him to escape. Shows mercy. A salvage popped. Yeah, this lane isn't really like I was talking about Boxy earlier as well and how important he is for Liquid to do well. If he does well, they do well too. But uh, right now he's playing versus Vengeful and Skyrat Mage. And this is a lovely couple. This is first time me seeing boyfriend, girlfriend, Dota couple oh, playing you're on a lane. Oh, right. The matchmaker. Yeah. Aww. And look at Biver. He's definitely protecting his lady right now, spamming those arcane balls on Boxy. Yeah, and Boxy get off her, fall. Boxy, you damn fish. She's Spitter. mine. And the stun comes out, and they draw first blood. The yeah. power of love, people. But now Tiger trying to run down Skitter. Skitter could be in some trouble. Where is the boyfriend? He is nowhere to be seen. Skitter <laughs> will die alone. <laughs> Classic like, man, honestly. Just fails the moment things get tough. He's like, see you later. I gave you that kill, uh, but I'm not falling together in the grave with you. It's enough. Koikwa on the mid lane. Look at that. 13382 on Gunner. I told you. It's about the heroes. I think Storm Spirit is much better versus TA right now. But at the same time, every almost every single game I watched Gunner versus Koikwa, Koikwa uh, wins at least a little bit, you know, has some sort of advantage after the laning stage, which doesn't mean that he does better later on, though. Oh, the uh, coil back as well. Uh, Tiger trying to roll in and help out. A rock is thrown away. Gunner should be falling here, but pops a salve, pops a one, keeps himself there alive, but the overload comes through, and that will be a kill. And they didn't really invest way too much into that. They force him away from his tower. They kill him when the creeps are under the tower, which means that he's going to lose every single XP oh, very point. Very painful, and the couple are going for another kill here, but it looks like Biver might find it turning around on his head. The stun comes out onto both. Nicely done. Boxy might still be falling. Skidder trying to find him. Lands a magic missile, but loses Whoa. sight. Could be in trouble. Skidder on the run here. Biver coming back in as the stroke of fate connects. The stun comes in. Slithering crush, but in comes the boyfriend back from the dead. They will drop Skidder, but the return kill comes through onto Boxy. NIP getting a little bit of advantage and maybe even make it even bigger here. A couple more yeah. right clicks will be required. Oh, oh yeah, the Arcane Bolt. Bolt. 
Is it going to be enough? He's healing up, he's healing up, he's healing up. Uh, oh, no, that lips. tango just saves him there in the nick of time. But overall, Skitter, what happened there? Like, he had Slardar, definitely. But instead of going through the trees, he goes from around and then gets stuck hitting into Grimstroke. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, he had some very weird patting there. But this this game, man, like, sometimes it really triggers you when it comes to patting. Everything is great. I love Dota 2, but patting can sometimes be weird. <laughs> Please employ me. <laughs> yeah, I love you, Volvo. Yeah, I'm the best. Uh, meanwhile, Mickey taking some hits from Universe here. Yeah, needs to fall back. It has actually leveled into that stun quite a lot, so PPD oh, might oh, be in problems. Oh, the response came through for the Legion Commander, but instead jumping onto PPD, he's a big hunk of meat to wreck yeah. through, but they will be able to do so quite yeah. efficiently. Universe turned towards him to try and use overwhelming, overwhelming odds to help his ogre out, but uh, PPD was already gone. But they did soak out quite a lot of aggression there, quite a lot of spells, which means mana was used, which means Legion Commander should be safer on that lane. What's happening on the mid? Still Storm yeah. Spirit winning quite hard, 28 to 19. Guess that region rune to work with as well. Man, Gunner can't get, catch a break. Yeah, I completely forgot that Overload uh, takes two charges off uh, Refraction, doesn't it? Mm. Makes a big difference to this lane. There we go. Another hit. He has a salt to work with. Can he break it? There we go. Yeah, gone. And he's full mana, full HP as well. This DA is not having a good time at all. Taiga. Taiga also not having a good time. And might be dying, but meanwhile at mid, Koifa's going in again, trying to gut down Gunner here. He's is hit the level six and he wants to make it feel it and feel it. He certainly shall. Gunner drops me while up at top. They're turning it onto Universe. Universe, though, just going to run himself away. Yeah. Un Universe, unlike t unlike his midder Gunner, definitely has a way of surviving. Overwhelming gods and into the shrine he goes. Farms together with PPD, but man, their TA is suffering hard. It's yeah. one of the worst feelings is to play versus a Storm that's had a couple of kills, solo kills on that mid lane and starts rotating across the map. You have to play so passively and you have, you're have you scared. Like, is it? Is this it? Is this my time? <laughs> it's, is he coming to my lane? And when Storms are showing on map in the laning phase as well, it's not like you can just go and hide under tower. You know, you, you, you have to, if you don't know where he is, you have to just kind of lane and hope he's not coming towards you. Maybe like shift your position, but you can't just not hit creeps whilst the Storm is missing. That's one of the annoying things. I love that they actually picked this uh, Skywrath plus Vengeful combo here. They're role-playing, basically. That's what they're doing. I think there are uh, on voice comms as well. Nice yeah, they... done, darling. Thank you, sweetheart. I swear Biver is going to buy Skitter a Ring of Health or maybe Soul Ring. <laughs> Soul Ring, probably, you know. Make it official. If you like it, put the ring on it. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I feel like I uh, might be a little bit optimistic. Man, my girlfriend is watching this stream. Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> you're in the trap now. <laughs> Koifa goes back to farming. He's completely fine with that level 740. Oh, wow, Taiga, Skitter. No. Skitter falls down in, on the yeah. bottom lane. Uh, that's a three-man rotation and a kill on to the Vengeful Spirit. I'm just waiting for this five minutes delay to pass to hear the vibrations of my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> I think. Boxy continues to push in the bottom lane. What's he got on this Slardar? Not a lot. Just a wand and boots. He didn't really have the best lane there. However, PPD, you're tanky boy, but you know what? Koikwai is strong enough to take you down. He's certainly got the damage with the four points into Overload. Does so much work. Mm. He has 49, almost 50 CS. I wonder what the net worth is. Seven minutes in, 3.5k net worth. Like, that uh, feels good, man, right there. Mikke also is farming quite well. Yeah, 1k and... behind the storm, but understandable. He didn't get a couple of solo kills. So. <laughs> Does make a difference. Does indeed make a difference. I'm not going to be like, you know, this is a Storm's game to run over. It's not a free Storm game by any stretch mm -hmm. of the imagination. You've got so many heroes just to mess with him yeah. in an, all shapes and sizes. So um, we still need to see a solid performance from Liquid to close this one out. But they are definitely, definitely in a great position now. Nah, it's, it's too early to say that this game is anywhere near 
being in liquid sands completely, right? Yeah. Mickey, however, he might be in NIP's hands as they're diving him. Oh, the swap, the silence, the damage. Is it there? The kick away. Behind Mickey, a bit of space turns around, gets stumped. The duel comes out onto him, and that should be Mickey going down all the same as a Skitter also imploding at exactly the same time. Quick comes flying in, though. Then he's going to get bought down. Universe trying to escape through the tree line here. Looks like he will be able to do so. But look at Gunner. He's coming back in. He wants Quick Quick really? pretty low on mana, but under the tower, getting stunned up. They turn their attention instead to the Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit kicks away Gunner. Gunner gets out the trap. Universe will finish the job with the overwhelming odds. Yeah, Universe is hop on, boys. I'm going to carry you on my back once again. Gets <laughs> that dual victory versus the Sven. Gets the Taiga Earth Spirit in the end. Gunner was forced to rotate there, which is uh, kind of alarming because he ha had suffered in the laning stage. So perhaps just farming right now would be a bit better for him. Yeah. Koik but Koikva doesn't die. Koikva gets a couple of kills there. And if you're liquid... Yeah, you're not happy that the Sven had died, but uh, it's a, it's about the storm right now. It's about the storm to start setting the tempo of this game, and he will start rotating very soon, I believe. But as you just said before, um, it's not a free storm game. You have the silence of the Sky Rat, which is insta cast pretty much. Once he gets that Aether Lance on Biber, his position for Atos as well is a perfect item Ooh, for them. Oh yeah, that route you can't tip away from that. We'll swap out though, puts Skitter out of position, but who is actually out of position here? As the science comes out immediately onto Tiger, Magic Missile gonna connect as well. Boxy. But it comes Boxy, he's got the Ink Swell on him, and that is gonna stun up, allow him to close a gap. A right click comes in, and a stomp as well. But it's PPD. Yeah, it's PPD. It's <laughs> Ogre. You probably don't want to dive that Ogre next to his tier one. Even if you do manage to take him down, they will turn and kill you off. So yeah. it's better to do it like this. Quick while waiting for the next target that starts uh, stacking the Ancients. Actually blocking them out on his zone too. There we go. Nice. He has to be careful not to run into all of them here, but that's what he wants, it seems. Uh, yeah, he's not afraid because he's got a whole team coming up behind him and they're going to initially unleash everything onto Skitter and bring him down with no problems at all. Yeah, Skitter, by the way, guys, for all of you that just joined, is the carry of NIP and that's Vengeful Spirit carry. It's not something completely um, like out of the box. We have seen we have seen uh, carry Vengefuls before, offlane Vengefuls, carry Vengefuls. It can work, but for it to work, you need to be... Oh, Storm. Nice, oh, good. For it to work, you need to be very aggressive and very strong in the mid game, early to mid game. I don't know what the build is for Skitter, what he has imagined. Like sometimes we see some Dominators, he's going for Vlad, so full, um, like just full utility into damage, right? That's yeah. pretty much Early it. Early game dominance is going to be the plan here. Viva finds himself with a fish on his head. Inkswell stunned, but PPD trying to save the day. Is it going to be enough? There's a Sans on him as well. Needs to purge that whilst running away from the slaughter. It's too much to juggle. Boxy, though, could be in some trouble. Trying to use that Guardian Spirit to get through the trees right now. PPD chasing. He's got a lock on. They see him as well with that Venge. Meanwhile, Boxy. Boxy. Hello. Hello. He throws out the stun. Eats through the trees, but will not be getting away uh, from this one. At least didn't one. feed the duel. That's good. Universe was around he's like wait up boys just let me get him Please. let me get that duel but nope Number 10 skitter too greedy to get that kill instantly but uh truth be told he was juking them for such a long time oh well there we go gunner is gone on yeah this is a really good engagement right now but in comes the skyrath trying to turn this one around they actually get the return kills like with gunner and quick they're going down and jewel comes out that's an extra bit of damage coming in for universe and he's even looking for more insane is going to be the next target this tp coming in from the slada and i think that will be enough to force them back for a little bit longer man this universe time. legion commander is just a boss right now like look at him he's just he's moving across the map 20 uh damage duels already got plus 500 gold that last fight he's just showing up and Dominating. Face Boots has Hood, has Bracer, on top of the network charts as well. Universe is just having a blast of a game. But we saw this last time we as well. We saw it. Universe, we he saw had a great start. And I saw it. Did you see it? I was casting it, actually. We saw it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was with you. I remember Oh, yeah, that. you were. Yeah. Didn't actually convert to much dominance, though, in that kind of mid to mid-late game. Liquid did own it. That is the uh, that is the usual power of the Legion Commander though. This hero has a great start to the game. She hits a peak, you know, when she finds her level 12, I guess it's probably when she's strongest, and then she kind of just slowly peters out. Can yeah, remain about a the, force, but it's yeah. about the utility as well, especially right now in the meta. It's about the pipe. It's about the hood that transforms into the pipe on um, him. You can see he's what 140 gold away from it once he has it. 
Um, he he just buffs up his teammates, and they have the slides. They all they will also obviously have the pipe on him, and then suddenly you can start pushing. They will have a lot of utility across uh, their five heroes. And look at that! Actually, Gunner going for Blink Dagger first. This is oof. This is some crazy pace that they want to set. Because if yeah. you go for a Blink on TA, the problem is if you don't find kills, you're you're not finding farm as well. Uh, Blink Dagger allows you to get on top of targets, but who are you actually getting on top of on the side of Liquid? Are you actually going to be able to justify this Blink Dagger? All right, they bought I it. I really hope so. And you've got to remember the damage amplification from Skidder is here. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Deso maybe not as required for the TA just to run in and start walloping people. Oh, swap. oh no, they'll swap out Skidder under the tower side. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Insania gets Mystic flared into the heavens. No, listen, their lineup is definitely very capable of taking fights right now. And it's on Liquid to dodge them after they n notice what items they have purchased, right? If you have this pipe, this lads you're playing versus obviously Skywrath and Vengeful, they're really strong at the moment. They, they hit almost a small power spike, so you need to find a way to split push keep on farming on Sven just ignore them completely try no, try to fight as little as possible you have this echo saber on Sven actually going for blink next so after that blink is ready and available then you can perhaps uh, search for a good fight for yourself and your team do love the way that uh, sword sounds with echo saber like bam bam yeah, bam yeah there's some really good sound design on uh, on that Big old sword of Mikkei's there. Mm, they're rotating Sounds behind satisfying. him as well. They like to hear that sword too. And they also like bounty rune. So perhaps they will take the bottom two on the side of Liquid. And it looks like an IP, yeah. They're just circling like vultures waiting around those top ones to spawn. Yeah, everyone's thirsty for a little bit of gold for the team. And it's going to go two apiece. So, whilst NIP are slightly, slightly, slightly in the lead of gold, this is kind of approaching their timing now where I want to see them doing stuff. We need to see them being aggressive into Team Liquid, but this Storm, such a threat, such a scary hero. They do have the utility to deal with him, but... They, they have they have the Disables right now. I don't think he feels super comfortable playing. Uh, he needs to finish that BKB. Once he has that BKB, then he'll become that crazy monster from the closet that you just talked about. But right now he's more like, uh, all right, I can kill you, but I die really fast too. So I better not risk it. It's a tricky line to walk, a bouncing act, if you will. Still, a lot of Dota to be played. A lot of great plays and potentially a lot of mistakes will be happening in this match. But it's ain't like anything like last game. It's going to be, ooh, Very close. <laughs> PPD completes that one. The duel comes off, and we say good night, Mr. Quakefa. Yeah, sadly for PPD, that wind up on Ogre is always just enough time for a storm to get out. Boxy, though, he's got nothing. He's looking for his blink dagger, but might have found death instead. How well can he duke? Well, bit of season, but they can't slow They're down. They're porting in. There's Vengeful as well, and he should, oh, Skitter dear. should be able to oh, just catch him out. No. Yeah, they're waiting for the duel. They make sure it comes in, and that's going to be a kill on to Boxy, delaying his blink dagger, which I feel like is a very crucial item. BKB on Storm, Blink on Slada. These are two big timings which they need to be working towards right now. BKB Storm, maybe. BKB uh, on Blink on Sven and Blink on Slada, and then you're pretty much set. Mikkei already has that Blink. He purchased it, he got it. Yeah, that's but true. But NIP is already there. They have the items, they have everything they need. They go in, Taiga, however, Ooh, great movement. Oh, nice movement. Yeah. Does he still get away with this one, though? Waiting as long as possible on that trap there. Mm. He could have TP'd immediately away, but uh, Gunner just follows him. Look at this damage. Now he gets him, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Doesn't need the Desolator. Has Skitter. I think Taiga, if he immediately TP'd after the rolling boulder, he gets out because Ventral was way too far, far and Gunner already used his blink. He waits a bit too long. He tries to run away and gets clipped by that trap and just dies. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Oxy, he needs to be careful. They are rotating towards mid. Yeah, yeah, he is a slippery fishy, but last time it wasn't so pretty. But he was baiting, like, you, actually, waiting. A yeah, bit. yeah, yeah you can he see. is. 
But I'm not sure Liquid want to take a fight right now. I mean, they're still waiting for a couple of items, but they're going to go for this right now. PPD is the target. Again, not super keen on this double one, stun. but the Double Stun coming out with the Double Storm Hammer as well. On top of them, Mickey with the double damage coming down. Can they bring them down? Universe going to drop. Skidder going to go the same way as well. Two cores sent to the grave. And Gunner, he's just sneaking away on the back lines here. Brother as well going to throw down the stone. Oh, oh, he's so God. dead. <laughs> oh, the Echo Saber cuts through him, mm. cleaving him in two. Gunner able to blink away. Thanks to that fraction, but PPD not quite so lucky. And Gunner gonna running back towards him, but he's got no choice. He's trying to stay invisible here, but Boxy, yeah, they've got him. Bring down Gunner. Take down everybody. It's a triple kill for Mickey and a full team wipe for Team Liquid. That's just so well played by the Grimstroke and Sven, obviously, with Storm coming in too. That Storm Ball. Sven, first and foremost, Sven dealt an insane amount of damage with his God's Rent in that team fight. Second, instantly after the Soulbind, he uses the Storm Hammer, stuns both of them. Yeah. Then the Storm comes in with the pull with Electric Vortex, also disables both of them. They just outplay them super hard. And uh, it's NIP that we're on the aggressive side, but if you don't initiate first, like you did in that last match, you're going to be wiped by the side of Liquid. And this is a huge team fight for them too, because uh, remember, NIP, they're, they're, they have this lineup that's supposed to be taking these skirmishes favorably, right? They're supposed to be taking these fights because they have these heroes that are really strong early on. However, Liquid, they were patient, they farmed, they got their Blink Daggers, they got the Echo Saber, and now they're ready to fight. They absolutely are. Now, okay. Okay. Oh no, PPD once again, but they're too scared to go on it. And the middle of the back line, they actually got the jewel onto the storm. Koifer is dead. Universe finds a great pick off here with that blink reveal. And maybe they can look for more. And IP, I feel like they need to get something more out of this. Maybe Roshan could be an option for them. I think they, they don't go back into have the pits. Long. Mm -hmm. PPD might be dead, but uh, still a big, big advantage as the main component of Liquid's lineup is missing, but they're going to try it anyway. The roll coming through, landing onto the TA. They put the Inks fall onto him as well, but it's actually Mickey who comes in round Storm the back backs. lines, and there's nothing Venge can do. She's silenced up, getting eaten out by Mickey, and she is going to get dropped. With that Storm buyback, I think they might want to get some more. Gunner is looking at Raw. She does have that Desolator. He could go back in, and he does. But he has to be careful because Koikwad, he did buy back and if you're a Storm Spirit, you want to try and contest this Roshan. However, if he dies now again, that's very scary. Nah, it that looks like it. they want... They're, yeah, they're moving back towards it, but it's a bit too late. NIP are actually going to get this with yeah. a man down. My god. Impressive. They were just decisive. Gunner went straight into the pit. He wasn't thinking about it too much. He goes in, takes down that Roshan while Storm is still farming, biding his time for that BKB. And the rest of Liquid actually went too far away from, uh, from Roshan's pit to even contest it. Mm, yeah. I love that. Super decisive move from NIP. They managed to steal it away. The pings were there, but it was just a little too late. Mm. And now. some new items have come for Biver as well, as he has that Atos Solar Crest is soon for Vengeful Spirit. And now they can keep their momentum as well. You know, it was a big, big hit to them when Liquid were able to wipe them, obviously, like it is to any team, but especially when you're trying to keep this momentum-based lineup alive, you cannot afford to be dropping heroes. But now with this Roshan, it brings it back into their favor and they can continue to play this lineup how they need to. Mm, definitely a good fight for them and Roshan, but BKBs are coming for Liquid. Storm will have one, and so will the Sven. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure how that didn't land onto Universe, but still, uh, Spirit gets away. Tier 2 tower being destroyed by Gunner. Yeah, he just takes it easily. So much damage on him with his Venge nearby. You have the Aegis. They don't really want to contest you. That's the thing. So if they want to contest you, you can take anything. Uh, the tier 2 on the bottom lane is probably the next option as that's the only available outer tower for NIP. But it's funny how these two teams uh, match evenly. Like, you can't really... You, you, it's difficult to predict them. As yeah. an analyst, when you're predicting on a panel, like, sometimes you predict because of the because of the draft, but mostly you're predicting because of uh, the team, right? How well they're doing, how well they've been doing that day, how well they've done before when they matched each other. But NIP and Liquid, it really goes back and forth. Like, anyone can take this. Um, agreed. 100% agreed. And, I've, and even especially at this point where NIP need to be doing a little bit more and Liquid, they're the ones going on the aggressive. Yeah. 
This they is very definitely do have a more common carry, right, in the Sven. Immediately they see Universe, they go straight on to him here. Meke unleashing hell. He gets taken out immediately, and they get the second pick up as well. Bivit taken out. Skidder on the run, but might not make it very far. Meke closes the gap. Quite front of him as well. Skidder dies as well. BPD on the run. No, thank you. Boxy finds a stun. The plus one, plus one, plus one, Triple plus kill. one equals four. And that is how many heroes are dead on the side of NIP. It's a triple kill for Mikke and TA. She's just off farming creep camps. What else can she do? Yeah, it's a problem. Like, if Liquid initiates on you and shows you that they've got their fresh new BKBs, you can't even fight them. Yeah. You, just, you just die. Four of them just fell. And, uh, yeah, very good movement by Liquid. That smoke was great. And I take everything back. Liquid's got this. Let's go, Liquid. <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, this Vengeful Spirit carry... Looking seems bad, man. Right now, when you're playing versus a Sven and you aren't really in control, you're way, way, way behind. 8k net worth on the Vengeful, 13k on the Sven. It's not really the best position to be in. No, NIP really feeling a little bit eclipsed by the timings of Team Liquid right now. I just feel like they need to get more done before these BKBs came out, but they still have a window. They still will rip N uh, Liquid apart if they manage to find the correct jumps, if they manage to get the Storm locked down. They don't have the items like the Crimson Guard, like the AC up just yet. Mm -hmm. I think those are the two items which are going to completely turn this game on its head and make NIP feel like it's basically barely winnable for them. I they need to find ways of initiating, right? You still have that. Do you still have Aegis? You do have Aegis, right? And you need to find a way to initiate. And this is it. This is the smoke. You need to find some kill, kill like, pick-offs. Yeah. You need to be the first one that initiates. That's basically why Liquid won that last fight. It's because they had the decisiveness to smoke up and search for a fight. And Sanya will be settled on high ground, but there's also a duel going off on the sidelines. They managed to find the Slardar and bring it down very quickly indeed. Boxy is dead, does have buyback if he wants to try this. Mickey comes into the back lines and there's that buyback coming through, but Skidder breaks the tether onto the two heroes. BBD will be left behind. Skidder, though, he's not getting out of this. He gets taken out by Mickey and then finds the second one onto by the... PPD trying to hide in the trees, but that's not going to work, my friend. Mickey finds another kill. Three more drop from NIP. Every movement they try to make, mm -hmm. and Liquid just jump down their throats time and time again. Three more dropped. Yeah, they did get a couple of buybacks, I believe, for themselves. Boxy bought back, and Senia bought back, so that's something. That's the yeah, silver lining, but you lost your carry, and it's not great. If Sven or Storm bought back, I might have something better to say, but right now NIP just, they keep on trying to grow this little farm here, and then Liquid just keep on running it over. Yeah. Not allowing them to find this momentum whatsoever. Not managing to kill Sven so far is definitely what's yeah. hurting them the most. Every single time they smoke up, Sven just continues farming. He uses his ulti, kills a target or two, like in that last engagement. Pops got strength, kills. Vengeful Spirit into the farming patterns once again. And that's why he's on 15k networks right now. BKB, Hyperstone, Blink, Echo Saber, very close to that AC too. AC is basically something that you always go for Sven when you're playing versus a lot of uh, armor negation. Like, yeah. uh, obviously, Vengeful Spirit and the TA with Dezo. I'm very disappointed though, no one on uh, Liquid, and I don't think the Air Spirit's building it, is uh, getting the Crimson Guard. Versus highly physical lineup. No, he's going for the spirit best as expected. Mm, I feel like that's a little bit. Solar Crest is probably like something that they yeah, could get that would be even well. better. Yeah, Solar Crest would be amazing, but yeah, and these heroes don't usually buy these sort of items, and perhaps that's the, uh, the true reasoning. Mm. Your offlaner. Well, Solar can, but yeah, he chooses to go yeah. for the eggs. I think the eggs is powerful, sure. Uh, I, I would prefer it, but. You want, he wants to play in the puddle, that's why he's making eggs. Like, I'd make an eggs as well, and I don't even think that it's uh, the better option, but you know. Like you just <laughs> it's pop, fun as hell. Yeah, you pop that puddle and you are you become stronger, that's for sure. You have that 20% status resistance, I believe, with it. You also can use your sprint to move faster, so. Yeah, I mean, Boxy's just been taunting all game as well. He, just want, yeah, he, he literally just wants to play in the uh, little paddling pool. The kiddie pool is open. But well, not quite yet. Still working towards it. Venge, she does pick up a Soul Crest, however. Again, another high tempo item, another item which can allow them to get more damage off yeah. on heroes. Yeah, but this is this really your position one that you want to have? Yeah. <laughs> is this what you picked the Venge for? Where is she on the net worth chart? Uh, she's number six. The lowest core, actually. <laughs> Below her only supports. And not far away as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
this like if you are NIP right now you're all about gunner and it it's a Templar assassin she can do quite a lot especially when she gets level 25 and that uh, 1.5 second melted bash but man that's far away and uh, we'll see we'll see if gunner will be able to carry them because if you're relying on skitter I don't think that's gonna happen not in this game at least Boxy might get initiated on. They're going on to him. They're going to throw down the dual mystic flare as well. It's going to be enough damage to rip through Boxy in time. Well, it is, but PPD is going to drop. No, Boxy's still fine. He just jumped straight out of it. They're just slaughtering them again and They're again. Just dead. Liquid. There is no mercy as they bring down Skitter as well. Trying to find the Skyrise. He's nowhere to be found. They don't even care. Roshan not going to be up just yet. A little bit eager on that one, but uh, every single time. We were uh, MOP, we, where are they? We were, we were talking bad about Boxy and his agony. 4,000 damage there by Sven, but most importantly, Boxy with that Aghanims creates a puddle yeah. just before <laughs> uh, just before Universe jumps in with the duel, which pretty much saves the day for him. Uh, that 20% reduction, if I'm correct, I believe it's 20%, helps out quite a lot. Uh, Actually, I four, more, yeah. 40% instead of just 40%, my bad. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, yeah, problems in the NIP camp right now. They draft a very aggressive lineup and then fail to get kills with it. Every single fight, Liquid just have answers. And not just a few, they have many different answers. Uh, do they unload too heavily? Oh, they're going again once once more. And this time they have managed to fight. No, no, never mind. He's living. Nope. They turn it around. Oh, to Legion Commander every the single time. The duel, nope. Viva is buying back into this one. They're trying to force back Liquid and they're successful in doing so, but this is Liquid's terms really. I if mean, we're being honest look, they're not even uh, going they're back. They're not even coming. Oh, look at these big old puddles just turning the Radiant base into a soggy mess. Roshan is up, Shrines are up, Tier 1 on the top lane is still up for NIP, <laughs> but they won't leave their high ground, man. If you are NIP fanboy right now, you're, you're not feeling great. This game is really tough to watch because Liquid, they're just styling all over NIP and... Uh, once again, I need to say, like, this draft is just, it looks hard to execute. I'm certain PPD had some masterful plan, plan behind it, but it does not look easy. It's easy to say, like, you have Legion and Skyrat, just go go and get kills, you yeah, know? Just you attack can, them. You can't do it 24-7, because eventually they will become beefy enough, or they will start moving in groups in which that initiation plus Skyrat ulti will just not work. Oh no, now they jump onto Universe, Skitter swaps him out, but I'm not quite sure that's the best idea, but Mickey's on top of him anyways, <laughs> chopping him down Bye with back. that big old sword of his. He is coming back into this one, Skitter gonna get finished off here, Koikfer though, pop of the BKB, jumping onto the two heroes, a double electric vortex, dragging them both down into their demise, two heroes now dead, the buybacks come out on the Legion Commander, onto PPD, they're still trying to take this fight, four heroes up on the side They're of Liquid, again. and oh my god, PPD, no, Mickey going on Rampage through the TA, for there's Rampage, well deserved as well. Mickey is just GG. unstoppable. GG is called, and that is Liquid taking the second game clean, crisp, under control. Yeah, after that first match that lasted 60 minutes, we get something much, much faster in this second match, man. Like, Sven Rampage definitely deserved it in the end of the game, but it was all on Koi Kwa. He just dominated that lane super hard and so well with the Storm Spirit that he was able to rotate across the map and just take full control, allowing Mikke to find his farm.